Hello everyone, here we are this morning. Just giving you a little quick update on the race car. I have got the rear end in finally. Had some issues with the brake floater. As you can see, I've concocted a clamp bracket for that tube before it came around, mounted along the seat. I'm way up there where the front radius rod is on the opposite end. But because of that new axle, the splined axle, I couldn't run it that way, the way the bird cage and everything lines up with the brake floater. So I ended up having to kind of do what the, the newer Joe cars look like or the kid wells but instead of welding a bracket because i'd already powder coated the frame i'm going to try this clamp that i put together here um, the other issue i ran into also was the bird the uh, jacob's ladder here on this particular jacob's ladder um as you can see there's a heim that i had to come up with the one that came with the the actual bird cage for the Jacob's ladder was this little bracket. And the Joe's cars and the Kidwells use a different style of Jacob's ladder. Maybe because this particular car is some who knows what kind of chassis it is because what we thought was a Kidwell is not. So it has actually a Jacob's ladder looks similar to a, mini, a micro sprint or a sprint car Jacob's ladder. But um, I had to make a a set up there that would work with this particular Jacob's ladder and uh, it has the adjustment so you can move the Jacob's ladder up and down to change the roll center plus it also has three points there where you can adjust the roll center as well <clears throat> um, let's see what else uh, the front end got the pedals in um, these are pedals I had in a different micro sprint that I took out because I'm not using it anyway. There's the hyper pedals. Put those in there. I like the, uh, the way the pedals move much better than the uh, the pedals that came with it. So they should have much better control. Um, front axle, brand new front axle. All this is squared up. Everything's ready to go. Steering rack, motor mount here. I've got. That's the next thing I work on is cleaning up the motor mount and uh, get working on that. The seat's completely bolted in. Uh, I really like this seat. It's the Kirky adjustable seat, so you can move it up and down. You have several different uh, bolt holes, so you can change as the driver grows. Um, so once I get that done, or get the motor mount done, then um, I will probably move on to just final touches, um, making sure everything works right. I put a new front axle and a new rear axle in it. The rear axle that came with the car was bent to my annoying until after I started going through everything. Of course, I couldn't find a solid axle, so I had to put a splined axle in it. Uh, that's pretty much all we've done so far. Um, hopefully we'll get her done, get the body work done. I've got to do a little touch up uh, with the body, do a little um, bondo and stuff, filling in some defects so we can get ready to uh, wrap it before long. Thanks for watching.